Hello guys and welcome to the final episode for the time being until I unlock circuit of the Ford Mustangs GT 2011 make made to upgrade. So yeah, um, this is the raid version. I was just I was just like admiring it. <laughs> it's a great car and I love it. This is. This would be my main raid car if it wasn't for the fact that I needed to not use the Mustang for a third time. Anyway, so here we are. The raid. What we're actually doing today is we are going to explore the Grand Canyon if I can remember which way it is. I think it's this way. Is this the road? I have a feeling that it's this way. I'm just going to check the road sign. Roswell 12 miles. So that is the way to the Grand Canyon. Okay, cool. We're going to be test driving this on full off road. So yeah, this is this is what if you remember me saying about my dirt spec, my yeah, you know, the dirt spec, the. The dirt cars aren't really made to go rally like full off road. This is this is meant to have the tires so, and the grip, so you can literally chuck it off road. I would drive straight into the canyon, but I've done it before and it was it didn't end well for me. I couldn't actually get out. We'll happily do an episode where we just go canyon jumping in raid vehicles. That'd be fun. I know the light conditions aren't the best right now. But, you know, it's nearly 4am, which means it's going to brighten up soon. We're just going to take it around the edge of the Grand Canyon, because I'm trying to use a different location every time, and that's pretty easy for a map this diverse. I use Miami for the first two, and I move to um, top above New York. So, yeah, it's pretty easy, and uh, there's loads of areas where I can use it, so I use different vehicles. So I don't think I'm going to run out of areas anytime soon. For example, I could use the inside the Grand Canyon as an area. But anyway, more about the vehicle. As you can see, it, it, it's still a Mustang. Like you can see the back end of it, and you see the front, and it's still a Mustang. This is the basically the Dakar version. It's been lightened. It's been stripped of all unnecessary parts, and it's been it's kept its natural V8 in it. And all they've done is buffed up the tires, buffed up the suspension, and made it uber light so now it tackles off-roading so well like you can i think you can hit over a hundred i don't really want to but i'm pretty sure you can hit over a hundred in one of these on dirt i mean if you remember dirt dirt mustang oh fuck. yeah no i'm sorry i'm not remember dirt mustang got look at that though look at that sorry one day I'm going to drive down that, it's going to be so fun. Yeah, Dirt Mustang only got to about 86, 87. I got past 80, 87 a minute ago, if you were looking at my speedometer. We're at 92 right now. We hit over 100. This is on... No, this is on dirt track. I mean, that... Never mind. I think I think it's, it rule applies. I'll have to check top speed again. But... What's this? Is this stay on the track? This is stay on the. Oh god. There's a Dakar Hummer right there for you. We're gonna try to stay on the track and I'll show you what this thing can really do. Oh, fucking hell. See if we can get an upgrade because I know that we're missing upgrades on this. This is all level 30 right now. Bronze level 30, so. Oh, this is really. Not fun. I'll redo this some other time. I'm not very good at this. I hate this one. My favourite one is the speed away from the location thing. The red, the red thing. But it is level 36, which means it's going to increase it by a mile. Oh no, not miles. I'm just going to upgrade it here. Now we got level 36 tyres, I think, so everything's level 30 apart from my tyres, which is level 36. Um, 
Yeah, so. This is all in all a very, very good car. If you can call it a car, I'd say it's more of a buggy now. I mean, it, it does deal with corners incredibly well, as well as its acceleration off road. And grip is something that you have a lot of. Like, you can't even slide this thing properly because it's just so grippy. So, yeah, this is definitely the car you want. Um, you know, so if anything. Oh, fucking. We got to a bridge. I'm going to cross this bridge. We're on road now, so. Unless it stays like road, I'm going to test. Unless it doesn't stay like road, I'm going to test its road capabilities. So, I think it's got a bit less. I think it's limited at quite a low speed, so it can go off road really fast as well. So, I think it's got like 115 to 125 top speed. But the way, the reason why it's limited is so it can deal both off road and on road at that speed. Which is quite helpful because you don't really want to be losing speed by deciding the the, the police after the, the police are after you and you want to just quickly take a detour. You don't want to lose a lot of speed and then them because in this state the the police have um, F one fifty Raptors, which are bloody killer. So you just want to you want something like that. I love the fact you can see the fans in the back as well. That he is just spinning, spinning. But yeah, then this is definitely a car. This is this is the one I was actually looking forward to the most of, of unlocking this spec, and I was not wrong to feel that way because this spec is actually really fun, and it, it work on the cars that it works on. It's really worth it. I just wish they'd done like a Lamborghini um, raid or a um, or even the what's it called the the fastback Mustang. The 2015. They didn't even do a raid spec for that, and I got really upset because, like, I would have loved that as a as a spec for that Mustang. Because if it works in this Mustang, I don't know why they couldn't do it with that Mustang. Kind of raises the question there, but very very fun car this. And as you can see, it, it is it's the limit is about 128 ish. Nitrous is about 135. So we're not even at the speed of the stock Mustang, but this versus the stock Mustang doing this, no chance, you're just going to lose. You see, it actually maintained its speed when it came onto the dirt, it, like stuck at a nice 90. This car is so much fun, it's just so chuckable. Is this a speed one? Yeah, speed skill. I probably won't get anything good for this because the speed of this thing is really, really shit. Oh, bollocks. Oh, who cares? I'm not even bothered anymore. But yeah, so. Overall nice car, I'm not going to go back to HQ on this one because I don't need to, the body doesn't actually change the sticker set is just a racing sticker set um, the colour is just matte grey uh, and everything is level 36 yeah, everything's level 30 apart from the tyres which is 36 and they're all bronze so it's a pretty bog basic car this but honestly put upgrades into it this will be really good. I'll hopefully have some upgrades into it by the next time I review this car. Um, but yeah, really, really cool car. Doesn't need to defy by rules of roads. Oh god, I hit the rock. I knew it was going to do that. It was going a bit too fast for that rock's liking. As you can see, it just tears up the road, off-road. Off I love it, I just love it. It's such a nice car. When we get to the one that I use the most, and the one with the most upgrades, you're going to see why I love it so much. Like, not just the, this Mustang, but the, the Raid spec as a whole. Oh, there's water, there's water, there's water. Also, this map, look at this. It's just so beautiful. Have you ever seen a map just this like diverse in a racing game? 
So amazing. Look at that sun glare. Uh, but yeah, I'd like to thank you guys for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this pretty cool video where we explore the desert canyon thing of the, the mountain state in our little Mustang, Dune Mustang, Dune Stang, Raid Stang, whatever you want to call it. Uh, but yeah, as always guys, I will catch you in the next one as we just climb this mountain. <laughs> wow. Next week, next episode will not be about the Mustang. We're going on to the um, either the Nissan 350Z or the, the 370Z or the Focus. Oh shit. Thought I could do that then. We're just going to go over here and cross the water over here because I know I can deal with it here. Oh no. So yeah, just put your comment in the description of whether you want it to be the 370 or the um, or the Focus RS because that's the one that's going to be in and then after that it'll be the other one that you didn't pick. Otherwise, if you don't pick anything, I will probably pick the Focus. I don't actually know what I'll pick. I said Focus and I was like, actually, I kind of want to do... I'll pick one. I'll just do one at random. And then we'll do that. But yeah, anyway, thank you guys for watching. And I will see you guys in the next one.